Okay, so today we got a package from MechanicalKeyboards.com. Um, I believe I know what this is. It is the uh, Ducky Maya um, Red Koi, I believe. It's one of their limited edition keyboards, 65%. Uh, and um, we're just going to be doing a quick unboxing of it just to see how it compares to the regular Ducky 1-2 Mini um, that is right over there in that corner, as you can see. But let's get right into the unboxing here. One thing about MechanicalKeyboards.com is they tend to really pack their stuff well. And the reason why I'm switching from a 60 to a 65 is one, purely aesthetics. I just like the look of this better. And uh, two, I don't know. I just like having the arrow keys there. It's always good. Get this. Okay, that's good enough. Make sure that's still in frame. So in your order, you're going to get your invoice, which I'm not going to show. Um, you also got some random keycaps from, from mechanicalkeyboards.com. Just random ones, I don't know. Uh, what do we got? We have a volume up. Um, whatever that is, I'm not too sure. I think it's a J, maybe. And then, looks to be an arrow left. Nice. Put that off to the side. Um, this, I'm not sure what this is, open this up, and in it we have what appears to be just a bunch of postcards with their traditional Chinese or Japanese, I don't know, images on it, but that's cool and then also in here we have the escape key which is for this colorway of the keyboard mechanical keyboard sticker and then this is the star of the show here the actual keyboard itself so let me just get my knife and we can actually open it. I think there's more tape. No, there's not. Just two little tabs here. And then with that, it should just open. Finally. Okay. Got it. And then inside this box, you have your ducky keycap puller, a USB to USB-C cable with their um, cable managing thing on it. I usually take this off because I just cable manage myself. And then you have your keyboard dust tray. And then the keyboard itself, I got mine in cherry reds. My Ducky 1-2 Mini RGB is actually uh, cherry blues. I got the reds because they're going to be a little bit quieter on stream and stuff. But if we can get this out here. Here, actually, let's just move this out of the way. Okay, so on the bottom you see Maya um, 
This is a Vermillo and Ducky um, collab. And I really like the way it came out. It's like a nice brush metallic finish on the sides. And then as for the keyboard, no RGB, but that's what it looks like. And in similar ducky fashion, you have the, the feet on the bottom. Unfortunately, it's not like the original ducky one too many where you could actually go in two step increments. It's just a solid, either flat or really high up, but nice clicky sound through that. And then the red switches. Overall, I really like the colorway. Um, it's going to take some getting used to, especially not having RGB. But other than that, the keyboard looks phenomenal. I don't see any imperfections on my board, so that is always a good thing. And as always, I'll probably be doing a review, full review in depth on um, how it performs. One thing I will say that is different from the from this to the Ducky One Two Mini is that the USB port or USB C is actually on the right, and on the actual One Two Mini, if I can grab it and unplug it, it is on the left. So that is one thing that's a little bit different. And also size-wise, you see that the 65% is just a little bit wider than the 60%. And as for height and like width, they're about this. They're they're really the same. Comparing the two up close, you can really tell how much detail and attention Vermillo and Ducky put into this, especially in the space bar and the keycaps. Uh, you definitely have some other things around the case as well, just some little paintings as you can see. And then on the back you have a design just by Vermillo and Ducky. Other than that, it's pretty standard to the original Ducky. A little bit taller around the side here as you can see. Just a little bit taller. But other than that, it's basically a Ducky 1-2 Mini in disguise um, with the Vermillo branding all over it. Well, not all over it, but their own take on it. Um, again, I have my arrow keys, so that's why it's a little bit wider. But that is something that I'm looking forward to having back in my life because I actually do use my arrow keys a lot. Not as much as I use a number pad, per se, but I like to keep things relatively small on my desk. So that's definitely going to help with... Uh, editing and I don't know just da daily tasks other than that there's not a lot much more to say about it I will have a probably a full review coming of it because it does look very good compared to the all white um, previous duck you want to they have a lot of different colorways coming I know they have a Miami colorway um, and a green colorway for whatever it is pandas I believe but this is the one I ended up choosing because red and white is just a good colorway for my setup and what I like it's not over the top with RGB and it's not like Miami with the pink and purple and just all those different colors stacked on top of each other and that is why I went with this but that is all I have for now on the unboxing of it and hopefully I get some good use out of it. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next stream.